Study shows newborns and early infants benefited from their mothers who received an mRNA COVID-19 vaccine during pregnancy. Joining us to talk about our health headlines, Dr. Bill Hartman in the scrubs out in the field in the hospital today, also a clinical trialist at UW Health. Great to see you, Doc. So the COVID vaccine, we kind of knew it helps your newborn, but now I was surprised at what this new research says about the amount of time it helps newborns for. Right. So. What they did at the University of Toronto was they were looking to see if there was any association between mRNA vaccines and problems with, with neonates. And what they found was actually the direct opposite, that in moms who uh, were vaccinated, the, the, the babies that they had had immunization, really very, very good effective immunization up to six months. And what this meant was that the, the babies were 14% less likely to end up in a neonatal ICU, 53% more likely not to die from COVID-19, uh, and 14% less likely to have any sort of morbidity associated with COVID-19. And so uh, the, the maternal vaccination was actually quite good. Uh, what, what's scary is that the, the rate of maternal vaccination has actually gone down over time uh, to the point where uh, only about 46% of mothers are vaccinated uh, currently against uh, COVID. And so it's something that we, we, we need to educate people on and let them know that this is a good way to protect your babies. And it's when your baby's most vulnerable, really out of the gate to that first six months, uh, that's really when a lot of bad things can happen, right? Absolutely. That's one of the things. <clears throat> the babies just don't have a developed immune system yet, so we have to find ways to help them, and this is one way that they can do that. Hey, while we're on the topic of shots, new research says the flu shot may protect against more than just the flu? Right. There's a lot of good reasons to get the flu shot, but this was a new one by me. Uh, and what they found here is that uh, if you get the annual flu shot, uh, for three consecutive years, you decrease the, the rate of developing Alzheimer's dementia by 20%. If you increase that to uh, having an annual shot for six years in a row, you double that and decrease your rate of developing d dementia by 40%. Uh, that's a huge reduction. They, they don't know why this happens. It, there could be a variety of reasons, uh, from just decreasing the number of infections a person has to decreasing inflammation in the brain itself. Uh, but what they know is that this is a very significant and strong association that they're seeing between decreased dementia and the flu shot. It's amazing. And the research says other vaccines may protect the brain in the same way as well, right? Right. And I think most people will ask, well, does that include the COVID vaccine? Uh, th there's not enough data. We haven't had them around for, for six years yet uh, to, to collect. So we don't know what the answer to that would be. Not a lot of time to talk about this, but I do want to talk breast cancer here because we know the earlier you catch it, the greater your odds of beating it. And a recent survey says most people, they know about the lumps, but when it comes to other symptoms of breast cancer, people know very little. Right. And so, uh, especially at this inflammatory breast cancer. And, and during Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I think it's important to talk about, but this type of uh, breast cancer doesn't come with a lump. It's not seen on mammograms very easily. And so you have to have a high level of suspicion. Uh, if there's dimpling of the skin, pain, uh, discharge from the nipple, these are all things that could indicate uh, inflammatory breast cancer, which is an aggressive type, but a treatable type of breast cancer. Kind of goes with everything, right? Know your body, and if there's any changes, something that doesn't wasn't there, you know, a few weeks ago or months ago, talk to your doctor, right? Right. Get it checked out. Be safe. Dr. Bill Hartman helping people in the hospital at UW Madison, but still somehow finding time to be on TV with us here in Milwaukee. Appreciate it. Thank you.